Welcome, to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-4033. Item Number, SCP-4033 Object Class, Safe Special Containment Procedures, SCP-4033 is currently held at Site H, in a padlocked glass container. When handling the object, 0.5 cm rubber gloves are to be worn at all times. No direct contact with SCP-4033 is permitted unless conducting a test. No more tests including SCP-4033 are to be conducted under order from the site director. Description: SCP-4033 is a Cadbury's creme egg that cannot be cracked, melted, eaten or damaged in any other way. If a subject touches SCP-4033 through skin contact, the subject will hear a voice. No others have reported hearing the voice hereby referred to as SCP-4033-1. SCP-4033-1 has been reported to have a noticeable lisp and resembles a child's TV show mascot. When activated, SCP-4033-1 will say, Hooray! You want to join in my Easter egg hunt? I see you found the first one already, so hurry on. Time is of the essence. A painted egg will then appear somewhere in a 10-meter radius of the subject, often found in simple hiding places, such as on a shelf, or behind another object. If a subject collects this egg, another egg, hereby referred to as instances of SCP-4033-2, will appear under the same conditions of the first. If a subject other than the one that initiated the hunt touches an instance of SCP-4033-2 or SCP-4033 itself, it will burn their fingers causing them to instinctively drop it. SCP-4033-1 will then say, No. You're not part of this hunt. Put that down. There are 12 instances of SCP-4033-2 in one hunt, and subjects are allocated 10 minutes to collect all of these instances in order to win. When the hunt is over, all collected instances of SCP-4033-2 will spontaneously disappear. If the subject wins, SCP-4033-1 will say, Yay! 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 You found them all? That means you get the grand prize. The winning subject will then fall unconscious. Medical examination of these subjects reveals that their stomachs are anomalously filled with a substance very similar to Cadbury's chocolate. While all winners have become severely ill and reported extreme pain, none have died. If the subject loses, SCP-4033-1 will say, Oh no! You didn't get all the eggs? Oh well, don't worry. You get the runner-up prize. The subject will then undergo severe brain trauma and physical distress, while still remaining conscious. They will retain basic motor functions and the ability to vocalize, but will die approximately two minutes later. Autopsies have revealed these subjects to have A. Data expunged in their brains. Only one full interview has been successfully carried out with SCP-4033-1, following Incident 4033-A, no more interviews are to be conducted. Discovery, local agents situated in A were alerted to three mortalities in A hospital, all dead were found to have, expunged, in their brains. SCP-4033 was found in the house of a local artist, who was found in extreme distress. They were later found to have a substance resembling chocolate in their stomach. Agent H touched SCP-4033 and successfully completed the hunt. Foundation backup arrived on scene and retrieved the agents and SCP-4033. Addendum 4033-A Interviewed, SCP-4033-1 Interviewer, D89667 Notes, D89667 was ordered to memorize a list of three questions to ask SCP-4033-1. Begin log. D89667 picks up SCP-4033 with his bare hands. Hooray! You want to join in my Easter egg hunt? I see you found the first one already, so hurry on. Time is of the essence. 
All right. What's your name? WH what? That's not important now. You've got to find the eggs. No, I need to know. Seriously, what's your name? My name? Well, you already know. I'm the Easter Bunny. No, your real name. Like, Bob or something. Easter Bunny. That. Is. My real. Name. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll come back to that. What was the second question? Where are you? Where am I? Why, I'm right behind. You? SCP-4033-1's three voice becomes noticeably gruffer, its lisp is gone. Hey, where the hell am I? Yeah, that's what I want to know. It was you. You did this to me. I know it. Hey, no, I didn't do it. The 89,667 starts to visibly panic. I know you did. No. No. I know what happens to fucking D-class like me. Don't kill me. You. Did it. No. I didn't. Don't do it. Please. Get the eggs. That's what you do. You bastard. Okay. Yes. Jesus. Why? I'm Easter. Hop, hop, hop. D89667 collects all instances of SCP-4033-2 and subsequently falls unconscious. End log. Closing statement. D89667 was later reprimanded for failure to carry out his orders. Incident 4033-A. Interviewed, SCP-4033-1. Interviewer, D89668. Notes, shortly after the initial interview, an attempt to further establish the origins of SCP-4033-1 and its physical state was made. D89668 was ordered to memorize a list of three questions to ask it. Begin log. D89668 picks up SCP-4033 with his bare hands. No. What is your name? No. I have no name. Just tell me your name. I know you have one. Please make this easy for me. You took it from me. And put me here. Well, no I didn't, but on that note, where are you? SCP-4033-1 does not respond for two minutes. Put me here and left me. Wait, what did you say? Put me and left. SCP-4033-1 does not respond for two minutes. Are you still there? SCP-4033-1 does not respond for a further minute. Hello? SCP-4033-1? SCP-4033-1 does not respond for two minutes. You want to know? The truth is, I don't know. I'm the Easter Bunny. I got nowhere to hop to. You don't. The allocated ten minutes to complete the hunt expires, and D-89668 falls to the floor in extreme distress. Agents watching over the test drag him away. End log. Closing statement, the 89668 died two minutes after. An autopsy on him revealed that he had a expunged in his brain. Thank you for tuning in, we hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.